Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. There are a few things I want to talk about now and um, for those of you that already make like um, videos, I know you are familiar with this app called Clipjam for editing your video. You guys know that I make faceless videos whether it's cooking or other DIY content. I always make it faceless and by so doing, I have to you know edit with so many things. But I, I have another channel where I make content for storytelling, children's stories, children rhymes and all that. Microsoft app where you can edit videos and you can record, you can do text to speech. And I use this text to speech a lot on my storytelling because when I finish with the writing of the story, I have to bring it here for, um, for this app to kind of give me the voice of it. This is where I post the thing. We all know that if you if you are familiar with this app, when it saves it, it saves it with MP4, even though it's an audio. So what do you do with the MP4? MP4 is video, but you want an audio. So that's what I want to teach us today, how we can um, transform our MP4 to MP3 without doing too much. There's an app called Realplay. Realplay is a um, music player. I use it to play music and watch videos, and uh, it does more than that. You can go from, you know, to MP4, MP3, and every other kind of um, uh, format. So that's what it does. So if you don't have it, it's free, even though there are su subscriptions to it, but you don't have to do that. Because I've been using it for many years. I don't do subscription. So right now I have a story that I wrote and I I turned it into voice with ClipJam and I, I don't need it in MP4. So what I do is I just click on this replay, come over here and say to converter. Then as soon as it, it, it goes there, you see this thing, it pops up. So this is where you will add the video that you want to convert, regardless of what you, whether you want to convert to. Uh, there are so many um, formats that it converts to. You just have to specify. But with Apple and Windows, you can use MP4 for that. So everything that comes in MP4 is um, basically video, and these are the audio formats. These ones here. So whichever one you choose. So I will choose MP3 because that's what I want this um, video to be saved in i click add and it, it opens your computer this is um the video i'm i'm trying to convert to audio quickly then you click start it doesn't take time within a few seconds you can see it converting it really quickly before you know it it's, it's not a long story anyway it's a story <laughs> then this is it it has downloaded it in my computer so i can just say okay then close. So I will go to my file and look for that. This was the one I am. Um, that was that originally was in MP4. You can see these two sides. That shows that it's video. These ones that are here. This one that are here. Let me highlight it. All these ones that are here, they are audio. So I have to look for the, that audio. This is the audio that I just created. So if I'm going to upload it in my video. It's gonna come as audio, not as video anymore. So let me just take a listen. I'll open it right quick. This one is in Spanish. It's definitely not the one that I just did now. So I'm gonna look for it. No, oh, no, my video. That's what I called it. Uh, it's supposed to be Jonah. I'll have to rename that. Okay, let me open it. You can see it's now in audio with this um, with this highlight here showing you that this is a music or audio, not a video. But um, it was on this format, which is MP4, MP4. But now it's in MP3, which is what we did with the uh, real play. I'm not trying to advertise real play. It's just a cool app that I've been using for many years. If I have any audio to listen to, that's what I use. If I have Video to watch as I used to watch video, and what it does is also um, 
saves all your images that is on your computer in that place. So when you open real player, it's taking a while. Then you can go to your library. This is not about real, real play. I just wanted to, to know that there's so much you can do with it, not just to convert or to play music or to watch video. It does a lot more than that. And uh, these are all the um, audios that I have on my computer. Mind you, I didn't download them. It just saves it. When you download the app, it asks you, do you want it to save all your things in one place? You say yes, then everything comes in here. Mm -hmm. And when you go to photo, <laughs> it has a lot of photos. And most of these things are the things that I just used recently in my storytelling. By the way, I can put the link of my new channel where I tell stories for you guys to check it out. And if you have any question on how I make anything, you let me know anything there and um, subscribe and like, push it going. So these are the um, the, the pictures there. Uh, you can see music. Honestly, those are, I don't know. It just saves everything you have in one. That's one thing cool about it. Then you have these videos. These are in video format. So it's easy for you to locate your videos and uh, not trying to check if it's mp3 or mp4 because everything is so categorized on this uh, real player then you can also i used to uh, hey one of the things i used to use this thing to do in those days before all this uh, making of uh, video and clipping is um to burn cd when i download music from youtube and i bring them here i i i burn the, the um audio into cd i just compile all my favorite music then you can now burn it here. When you come here and you show, you, you just have to, um, that's for another video entirely. I have a lot of um, videos and CDs that are compiled because I used to play a lot, a lot of CDs in the car and in the house and in my earpiece and all that. And there was nothing. This thing has been been around for a while. So I have a lot of CDs that use this thing. People use it to burn CDs and DVDs, use it to play CDs and DVDs, use it to burn music that you have here into your CD. So and you can also use it. The fact that you use it to convert your audio to um, uh, uh, your video to audio is even another good thing that it does for me, which I, I always do. Because when I download um, music from YouTube, I I um, use this thing to convert it to MP3, then burn it into CDs. So that is that about that, converting your MP4 into MP3 using replayer. I'm sure there are so many other um, apps there available that people use but this is what i use because it's very convenient i don't have to go downloading so many other apps for converting and then um, the next i will talk about how i use um this type of software quick app to to make my uh, speech text to speech and how you can put your own voice to it thank you for watching bye for now Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Help me get to uh, a, a whole hours of views. Thank you. <laughs>